Hello YouTubers, today I have a graphics card here, I got my friend over here. This is one of his graphics cards. Uh, I ended up buying one off him myself, actually it's a same exact card, same exact model that I have in my YouTube uh, computer slash gaming computer. So, what kind of card is this? It's Asus ROG Strix 1070 Ti. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't know it was all those words. I just know it's a 1070. That's all I know. T.I. T.I. Don't ask me what that stuff means, you know, nowadays. Because I haven't kept up with the, you know, mm -hmm. the cards, I guess you could say. I know a Titan X is pretty nice. This comes pretty close to it. Not even. Not even. <laughs> Not even so what's the issue we have with this one? I got to uh, grease the fans up. The fans are... Let's spin it. Can you hear it? Oh, we can put this by the fan. Spin it. Yeah, let's just grease up the fans a little bit. Redo the thermal paste on there. Take away some of the mods that I did to it that didn't... Some mods? That I don't want to keep. What kind of mods did you do to it? I did a shunt resistor mod on it. Got some thermal pads in there over the RAM, but I don't think they're thick enough, so we're going to take it apart and see. Anything see else you did to it? We got liquid metal on the CPU cooler. Ooh, I don't like that. <laughs> 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 I say why I don't like the liquid metal, as I always say, is because if it does drip down on any type of components, it does damage anything well, we'll see when we powered. Take, we'll take it, when we take it apart, we'll be able to see if anything dripped or anything. So. All right. Well, you never had... And it's been running for... Well, it ran for a couple months after liquid metal. All right. So have you had this, like, sideways in a computer like this? Yep, and not worse? Yep. It's all the time? Fitting. All right. Yep. <clears throat> Came out of mining rig. Mining rig, huh? Mining for that Bitcoin. Yep. Yeah, what's the price of the Bitcoin now? Um, I think we're about seven thousand dollars right now. So it dropped a lot or what? Oh, it's seventy four hundred dollars. Um, did it drop? No, it's actually been on the rise lately. I haven't even kept up with that. The Bitcoin. How many bitcoins do you think you modded, roughly, when you were doing mining? I was Just mining curious. for Ethereum. So, I don't know. Maybe like eight Ethereum. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. Over, maybe it was about one Ethereum a month. The electricity costs were too much, though. Yeah. <laughs> that would be expensive. Especially how much power these cars carry. <laughs> And power supplies. Mm -hmm. So, you can just should be able to, yep, alright. Take that off like that. Oh, you can see the liquid metal on there. Still sitting there. I've never personally did liquid metal on any of my stuff. I use the old old school paste that I have. It's actually like the real old Arctic silver. But it has kind of a metal material in itself. It's kind of like the liquid metal in a sense. But not as shiny. That's for sure. You can take a look at it underneath the microscope. See what the liquid metal looks like. Be kind of interesting. Let's see, so I am going to take that top camera off. This thing seems so high. Turn on the microscope here. So that's what the liquid metal looks like. I've never personally used it, so. <clears throat> yeah, I wouldn't recommend putting it on top between the CPU cooler and the CPU. It's more it's meant like to go under the lid. The Q-tip won't even running. actually pick it up somewhat. No, Look at that. Q-tip really won't pick it up much. It's. It's, it's like. It's, it's like gallium. Yeah, it's like uh, I want to say like solder. 
that's just sits in a liquidified state, yep. if you want to say. Yep, stays liquid. Oof. Yeah, I can see why you taped over the little resistors there. Yeah. But taping this, the captain tape right here, it would have been nice to cut it around there, I guess. Yeah. Just so you would have allowed airflow through the chip itself. Yeah, true. There's, uh, most of them take nail polish, top coat, and they'll nail polish the resistors. So, Just I mean, in case if any of that liquid metal drips down and gets on any traces, it's going to short something out really yeah. fast. So. But look at this. It's not stuff. ideal. Looks it's like, not a recommend it like a pull of solder right there. Yeah. I wouldn't recommend it. It was more of a test. Oof. We're good. Temperatures were good. Temperatures stayed about almost, I'd say, 8 to 10 degrees Celsius lower than regular thermal paste, but... Yeah, the it's like a, the risk you take if if uh, from shorting out a card is just not worth it at the end of the day. Hey, so you, you just you just basically shorted out a, a motherboard you brought over that I possibly make a YouTube video of. Oh, hey, that'll be the next one to show you what liquid metal can do. <laughs> <clears throat> it's gonna it's gonna do it, right? We'll have audio on this one too. Same <laughs> audio same on exact this motherboard one. Motherboard is the bent pin video that was just put up. Yeah, he likes bending the pins for some reason on the CPUs. I bought it that way. <laughs> <laughs> we all say that. Uh -huh. We all say that. Uh. One thing you never want to use liquid metal for, if you ever have a copper heat sink, the liquid metal will eat through the copper. Did you sand this down? No. You didn't? No. It, it's, you might see it might etched it a little bit. Yep. Liquid metal, so it etched it. Yeah, big time. Took the shininess right off mm. of it, almost. That's not good. Yep. That is not good. Therefore, I would not probably use this stuff Dude, ever. It'll be fine. You think? Yeah. It's down to like the shininess is off of it. There's no shininess left. It'll buff out. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh my god. I've never seen the shiny stuff removed. This had to be sanded down, right? No, it's from the liquid metal. That's what it does. You'll see on the... It eats it? You'll see on the aluminum heat sink when we get to that one. Aluminum heat sink? Oh, yeah? You think it ate it? Probably. Yeah, it does a little bit. Wow. You gotta be joking me. I, I've never seen this. I've, I've done so many CPUs and video cards. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's only shiny stuff around the sides. That's just very little bit right here and right here and down here just a little bit. So just the edges. You can see the rub and call just drying. Mm -hmm. Not good, not good. What did you do? You put the, put the tape around the screw? Yeah, Alright. So we're going to have to probably take that back plate. If you said you did some more modding on here, right? Yeah. I don't advise you to oh, do this liquid right metal there. ever. Well, the, the thermal pads right there is a good idea. Yeah. Normally but they don't come with the thermal pads, so. These? Yeah, the RAM chips on the side with the pink pads. Those ones don't. The other ones in the back do. I, I think the back ones don't. The either. back ones don't. The These, no, the front ones, ones do. I got gotcha. you. The front ones do. Yeah. Because I refurnished my card. I actually did a, I re refurnished the fans on them. <clears throat> All right, so, yeah. So there's the liquid metal on the chip there in the corner so we're gonna have to get that out but yeah it ate, it ate like the, basically into the die almost mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah I definitely would not use this stuff unless you plan on ruining your CPU well, normally it's meant to go in between the, the underneath the lid of the, the die 
Yeah, but I see a lot of people doing this. Yeah, and it, it'll drop, Man. Your, drop your temperatures by sometimes up to 20 degrees Celsius at full load. So I see a lot of people doing this, but it's... They actually take, you know, like an I-9 and do it yeah. with it or something, or yeah, it's, that's I-7. Really, yeah, it's really what it's meant for. But I want to do that with my I-9. I would. No way. I'd chance it. Not after seeing this? Because after a while from the heat and stuff like that, if it ate it like that and it was just sitting on there, it's just going to sit there and bubble on top because it's not going to make, you know, in my eyes, it's going to make the two layers. It's going to eat the material on both sides of each, mm -hmm. on the die, and then you, you say maybe this, uh, the heat sink is probably eight and a little bit. I kind of, I just never seen a top of the die package wear off like that unless it was mm -hmm. sanded down with like a small steel wool or something, well, you some know. Some people lap them. You yeah, lap, lap them sand down them down. Makes it thinner. Yeah, I've seen that. Oh, look at that. See that little dot right there? I just wanted to sit there and hang out. Yeah, you get one dot in between any of those two resistors, and you're not going to have a good day. <laughs> oh. Yeah, see, there's some more over here. There's one I got. And I... It's making it out hard. Huh. All right. Pretty much got that there. And go one scoop here. Yeah, I can imagine if this stuff got all over. I, I really don't want to even look at that motherboard after looking at this. <laughs> to tell you the truth. We're probably yeah. gonna, you're probably gonna be it's, doing it. You're probably gonna be doing like a little funeral, you know. No. That one's gonna have the virus and it's not gonna recover. I think that one's gonna be fine. I don't know about that, man. After seeing this, it's gonna be a good example to show what happens though. When it and fries your stuff. Yeah. I don't think mine got fried. It's just a shorting out, so it kind of was in protection mode. Really? But I think I got lucky. It easily could 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 definitely cause damage. I don't know how you got this tape around there. I screwed it, screwed it in after I did the tape. Did you buy Captain Tape just for this? No. Alright. Just a brilliant idea I had. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's good that you did use the Captain Tape. Because you would definitely... How it was sitting on there, you would have definitely got it on those resistors. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's essential. I said some people put nail polish, clear nail polish <laughs> over it, and that protects it, but... Yeah, but then how I see this, how this ate that, they would eat that nail polish, like, no problem. So when I, I took my uh, graphics card apart, the one I got from my buddy here, uh... I actually, he said he actually did this mod on mine, and he didn't. Yeah, thought, the, I, thought I did. The thermal paste wasn't even touched. I was kind of, oh, thank God. He hasn't messed with it. So, when I did see that, you know, I, I used my thermal paste and stuff. It dropped the temperature on the card. It put, like, uh, it performed a lot better actually replacing the stock thermal paste. Did you do a video of that one? Uh, no, I couldn't because I had my graphics card out of oh, my computer. Oh, that makes sense, yeah. And it would have been a nice uh, fan mod because that's basically what yeah. this video is about is basically rebuilding the fans. He threw a lot of little extra in here with all this other... Look at this mod he did here. Right over the resistor. It's a shunt mod. All right, and then you did... There's one more. Something right over there. Yep, those two. That resistor. That's some professional soldering there. Thanks, man. We have to, yeah. we have to key in on that one right well, there. Well, I learned from the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there goes the mod right there that he did. Must just did you just do a glue glue of solder or a little wire? It looks like a little wire. Uh, I think I did put a little wire. Yeah, in you did. You got a little poke out right there. Yeah. So um, that basically just tricks the 
tricks the card into delivering the voltage that it can take. It's like a limiter of voltage, so if you want to overclock the card, you can pull more power into it by doing that. <clears throat> Again, not really worth it. Minimal, minimal increases, not really. You see you this, this chip that. right here. Yep. What is that? Alright, nothing dead. there. Okay. Just want to see no burning up chip there almost on its last leg. Mm -hmm. Kind of look, I mean, you could tell this board's had some power to it. Oh, yeah, this board, these things, this thing was, <clears throat> this was cranked to the max for a couple uh, of Just by this, because you can see the traces up here, how they're pushed up from the heat. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a, looks like a volcano almost in yeah. a sense, going to be happening. So that's like too much power in this area. Maybe that has something to do with it. Oh yeah, it does. It, 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 Pumping more power into this yep, area. Yep, that's exactly. Which that's why that ship's kind of looking like it wants to kind of fry a little bit. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm not a specialist on this graphics card, so whatsoever. I just reball the the GPUs on them. That's about yep, it. Yep. Most of the time, if it's you got some uh, resistors or capacitors grounding out, you have problems. But yeah, look at this. It's, there's nothing left of it. Oh man, that is not good. It'll be fine, just like new. Okay, it's it's a beauty now. Yeah, you could probably buff that out with. Some... No, it ate at it. You can yep. see it just yep. ate the material away mm -hmm. on it. That's supposed to be all like the shiny stuff. Yep. So you only got it around the edges. Well, Dimitri's bit. gonna like this video. He's gonna love it. <laughs> you can throw some comments in here and give us his two cents. Eh, I don't know about that one, man. I I definitely wouldn't be using this stuff. Just because now, looking at this, even though, if say, if liquid did spill down or a little bit, or maybe you wanted to re-thermal paste it down the road here, mm -hmm. you know, you might have, you know, heat issues just because it's not able to separate the heat evenly right. between the dye package inside the chip. You know, I mean, it's gonna it's gonna drop it down a little bit. It is, and it yeah, has to. Maybe it, you know, you know, by a little bit. Probably won't be anything too. It has to. Too much to worry know. about, but but yeah, I'm sure it would. And <clears throat> I mean, personally, I would never use this stuff. Are you gonna use it anymore? I wouldn't use it in between a CPU and a heatsink. Never. No. It's not worth it because you think. I mean, on a graphics card, yeah, you can fork away a little bit if it's a couple hundred dollar graphics card or something. And you want some really high performance out of it for your money, right? Yeah. But would you see you're doing this to a brand new twelve, fifteen hundred dollar card? Yes, I would. <laughs> <laughs> I would. I'd take my i9 and overclock it. Like you know, no weather. I want to do that with my i9 9900K. Yeah, you just you take the longevity out of it, man. Yeah. It takes it lasts longer if you don't mess with it, but you know, if you're looking for pure performance and power, you're willing to sacrifice it and your options there to do it. Yeah, I mean I just do converting videos, but it does I mean converting videos takes what, ninety nine percent. I was I was rolling actually ninety nine percent. Max out a hundred converting videos, YouTube videos and Upgraded to 64 from 32 gigs gigabytes of RAM and now it's running at 80 85 to 90 so it takes off the load so yep. And I mean taking off a little load with maybe with the heat dissipating the heat I don't know if that would have anything to do with it. Yeah, absolutely the cooler it is the Cooler your CPU is the uh, more efficient it can run the higher it can go so heat's definitely yeah. Heat's I mean, really, I know your issue. You draw, heat, but uh, heat is like the heat is the limiting factor of how. Well, much that's how I noticed. The CPU. It's See how much, I, how much can you cool it down? Well, how I noticed with your card, the one I bought off you, how I noticed that the card 
I didn't feel nothing coming out of the fans, no heat really. So I knew I wasn't getting no, you know, heat dissipated off the, right. the GPU. So I felt I would feel this, this would be hot right here. And I would question myself, okay, why ain't the fans kicking out some heat like that? Mm -hmm. Through the heat, you know, through the actual vents, you know, of where the, the fans kick it out. <clears throat> and I just kind of questioned myself. So I took it apart and then I found out that you didn't do the mod on it, which I'm kind of grateful now. Because then. Yeah, for sure. It would mess it up like that, and I don't know what that's going to do. You're going to have to let me know after you do some performance tests on here. So, <clears throat> let's remove these. Yeah, we could run the same benchmarks on our cards and see... Yeah, I'm curious about that, if too. this one isn't, you know, performing... Yeah, I'm kind of curious about that one. Yeah, we'll see what's up. I'll do it. I haven't even done a benchmark on mine, to tell you the truth. Or even my computer alone be kind of interesting for sure <laughs> with the scores all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some uh paste to this here some flux take this little wire off here Turn the extractor on for this one. What kind of lead or what kind of solder did you use on this? Uh, I couldn't tell you, man. Could not tell you. Is it a low melt? No idea. <laughs> Seems like a low melt. So we got that resistor looking back pretty again. Now we're gonna move on to the other one here. Make this one great again. Mega. <laughs> <laughs> Your like to dislike ratio just went Tumbling down, I, I think. We'll see. <laughs> Comment below. Like. <laughs> and subscribe. Alright, so what we'll do is make this one great again. Each side, put some heat into it. Wick, take a little bit off of here. All right, that one's good. Clean those up. So what you're going to be upgrading on your computer here shortly? You going to be rocking two of these or what? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I have to upgrade my power supply if I do the two. Really? I think that's my issue. I tried two already. It won't read. It reads the card, but it won't read them in device manager. It only reads one. But they do power up. I'm just thinking there's not enough power. How how, how many try. how many watts is yours? I got a 760 watt. So you think uh, you gold. need? Yeah, I'm gonna put a thousand. You need at least watt. a thousand. I'm gonna put a thousand watt in there, and I'll try it out again just to try it. Play some <laughs> SLI games, see if I can see what that's like. GTA supported on that. 
GTA supported, yeah, a lot of older games. Tomb Raider, the new one? Uh, I, mean, I don't think any new games in the past six months are supported by SLI, so having two cards doesn't really doesn't really benefit anyone anymore. Yeah, well, I still gotta finish playing my Resident Evil. I still haven't even probably like 30% really? not even probably 20% into the game yeah. that latest one for the PC pretty awesome graphics pretty freaky but it would be kind of actually nice to uh, play it because we do have apocalypse right going on right now that's with what the, this that's what the news says with the coronavirus and stuff going on right now you know all the stores around here are kind of like just shut down nothing's really open can't go into any restaurants or sit down and eat. <clears throat> I think we have it a lot better than some of these other states out here. Yeah, for yeah. sure. I'm thinking, you know, versus, you know, we're here in Wisconsin, so yeah. s southeastern Wisconsin, the Racine and Milwaukee and Kenosha area, which ain't pretty too locked down, I guess, are... Our governor, right? Is that who yeah. it is? Yeah, governor said, you know, basically stay at home order. But I mean, for the what the looks of the city today, does it look like? I mean, just out of, out of the last couple of weeks, it's been sitting, you know, quiet. But I mean, today is a Monday. Yeah. And today is a Monday. I mean, do you see how much traffic's on the road? I mean, all the stores look like mm -hmm. people getting yeah, their tax money back and they're out shopping now. Oh, or we might just have a lot of essential employees. I don't know. I, I don't know about that. But I mean, I thought about that because of the traffic I'm on, you know, from my morning job, and I'm just like seeing. For how the most part, people are res people are respecting the orders. They're respecting other people's concerns and yeah, they are and all that. So uh, it's not just a flagrant disregard for you know the order but well I mean I don't know I just I, I just see everybody's out moving around driving mm -hmm. stuff like that I mean the streets are kind of full it's actually kind of nice driving to Milwaukee from you know Racine here all the mm -hmm. way to the north side of Milwaukee without even having no traffic interruptions yeah. whatsoever there's yeah, no stoppage no blockage no, no traffic jams anymore no traffic so. jams no, nothing not I mean, you got families that have, you know, a or family just, of four or five, and their kids are all driving. They all, you know, back in the day, a family would only be able to afford one car. Yeah, no, you no, know, no. three, four. Everyone's got their own car in the driveway. Yeah, so it's kind of, you know, strange of what's going to happen when. So we're going to clean this all. This is the liquid stuff, right here too. You can see how it kind of get liquidy. So when I uh, the car I got off you that was never reconditioned. Mm -hmm. I went through, there was a lot of liquid like this. I mean, like it was a pools of liquid. And that, oh, hey, yeah. that came I from the that. actual, yeah. I mean, I sent you the some pictures of it. It was the pads sweat a lot, you yeah. know? Yeah. And it could cause issues down the road, but you actually want to clean both sides of the pad and stuff like that. And then do it with a dry Q-tip. Those are brand new pads. Those are? Yeah. Yeah, those look like some good quality ones yeah, those too. those are Thermal Grizzly. Really? Yep. Yeah, they look like pretty good. Conducto knot pads. So they're those are really good pads. Yeah, compared to the ones that probably come on yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, so I, I think this, you know, with all this stuff going on, it's really gonna hurt our economy really bad. For certain companies, really small small businesses and stuff. I don't think I took this part. Oh yeah, it did, huh? The back plate? Yeah, you gotta take the whole back plate off. So, we're gonna need a needle nose for those. It's all screws, I think. No, for the the back plate, I don't think we have to take, no, you don't have to take the back plate off on this one. I think you just gotta, yeah, you take two screws here, no screws, all right. Yep. So what do you got back here? On the bottom of it. It was some same with the thermal pads I did on the front. I did on the back, but I don't think that they're thick enough. 
So I'm not sure. We'll have to take a look. I, I have to get. I have to get cute thoughts on that. What's the thermal pads? I don't even. On have, the back. They don't even have thermal pads on it. I, they don't. They normally don't come with thermal pads on the back. I, don't quote me if I'm right. No, but they I don't. Mean, I, 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 I did take this card apart. Yep, yours didn't come with them on the back. That's that was one of the upgrades I wanted to do was add them. All right, so we got that off. Then we need to take all these screws off. Okay, remember the chrome screws are the chrome screws. Yeah, but the card was actually pretty, pretty dirty, like just liquid-wise of that stuff. And I didn't like ha having the liquid there, but man, the card runs so much cooler now. Mm -hmm. And I was having frame rate issues too before. Right. All right, one more. All right. Now there's two more. All right. Yeah, I don't think we need to take that metal shield off. Uh -oh. No. I think it's stuck to the pad, so you can probably. Yeah. No, it. we're good there. Let's make sure we got all the screws out. No. There's one hiding. There's two of them. There's one over here. Yep. And then there's one right through that little hole right there, that little guy. Somebody would actually break their car doing that. That would kind of suck. That's going to be fun getting back in that one. All right, here, man, I missed a scroll. <laughs> Just pry it open. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, That's why you want to look for all your screws taken out for prying. You can see through all the holes, you're good to go. Alright. Should be good to go. Oh, that's an LED mod. Huh? I did take this. I didn't take this part. No, I didn't. Oop, that's where the LED is, yeah. Yeah, I never, did, I never did take this. Oh, wow. <clears throat> yeah, that's pretty nice. Definitely want to leave those pads there. Mm -hmm. What's up with the hot glue? Uh, that was for the fan. There's four four drill holes I did there. See the four holes? Oh, you did a fan mod on it? Yeah, so I had a 120 millimeter fan Ooh. that blew on the back of the card as Dang. well. But it's got the holes in there so the airflow would go through that. Mm. <clears throat> Just to help keep it cooler. There's a, there's a, a video somebody just did recently about putting a fan on the back of the card and the effectiveness of cooling the backside. I it do doesn't like, look great, but yeah. if it works, it, you know. Yeah, I do like this uh, pad stuff. You're going to have to send me a link on this. Yeah, I'll send you. Definitely yep. will buy some of this. Just for like it's people, because really I bring a lot of people that have, bring their game consoles yeah. or their graphics oh, card and they pads, take them apart and they're missing. Those pads are missing or shot. Yeah, well, I mean, sometimes they're shot, but... yeah. They're missing most of the time. So, I mean, I save replacements from stripping other ones that are in good. You know, like, really, you remember the Xbox 360s? Mm -hmm. Pads? Those oh, are I'm good. Those are, no, those oh. are good ones. I probably took about 100 of those apart. Yeah. You wouldn't have been doing any modding or anything on those back in the day, right? Cause well, that, was, that was seven years ago, so yeah, I was modding them. <laughs> <laughs> good days. <laughs> the good old days, right? Old days. Yeah. No, I'm just doing saying because you modded this. Doing but. the uh, X clamp mod on the Red Ring of Deaths. Yeah. Right. Just a couple washers. I never liked them. Re thermal paste. I I was a no no for them. Yeah, they were easy because I knew it wasn't that wasn't the issue, the bottom line issue. You need I mean, to get people down. Yeah, you need yeah, reflows, you need reflow. or you need to do an actual. <clears throat> You know, CPU. Yeah, they would go. Quick. They would go quick the first time with the thermal paste being bad before mm -hmm. the. Yeah. It needed a reball, but once you did it like once, you probably had six months, and then, and then you were gonna red ring again and need a reflow. Yeah. So. Uh, you know, but I wanna like, so this basically the card right here, we got liquid over here too. You see that liquid? 
That's what I didn't like. So I, that's what I addressed yeah. on the other card. It was soaked like this, but it wasn't in here. It was the pads that are inside here. On the other side. So these were they, li they liquided they all them. down right here. Yep. And then there's pads here also that are on the. This was the bad. This was the worst part right here. Mm -hmm. So it took me a long time to clean it because it's an oil oily right. suspect. So you you take it, but the best bet is to just take a dry Q-tip. Let it absorb. And let it absorb. See how we just clean that off. Yeah, instead of spreading it all around. Instead of spreading it around, yeah. go around it like that. Yeah. And then come back over to rub an alcohol. Yeah, that worked really good. So we uh. <clears throat> yeah. But it does work good. So, and then they were all behind, like these were all soaked too. Yeah. So, you know, you don't want these soaked in that in that type of material too. Cause it, it can become conductive. If it's conductive, you it, can mess with it. Yeah, I mean it too. could, cause I mean there's a lot of, there's a lot of dust in it, so it built up, but mm -hmm. yeah, we'll have to address that. But yeah, I think that mod that you did in the back is awesome. I actually want to do that to mine now. But you can see, this was the stock thermal pad here. That was from the stock one. This yeah. is the stock. No, that's that's aftermarket too. But no, no, no. This is. No, nope, that's all aftermarket. No, that's. that's is it? No, that's stock. Trust oh, me. I must have not replaced that one. Nope. So this is all stock right here. This you would have replaced probably. No, you did. Huh? Yeah, you did. But for some reason, this generates the most heat. Yeah. And look what it caused. It's just like dripping down. If I can get a nice view on that one. Yeah, uh, almost like seeps through the screw holes or holes that are in there. Yeah, you can see it's it's just like a liquid state. Yeah. Oof. See that? It feels like you know dropping liquid on your card. Mhm. Mm so mine was really bad, but I mean I cleaned it and it works beautiful. But it didn't. I don't like what it did on here. The, the actual. Oh, uh, liquid metal. Liquid metal. No. Yeah. Let's take a look at that. Let's take a look at the heatsink of it. So we have to clean that off. So is this the stuff they used in Terminator? Two. It looks as, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Liquid metal, right? That's what T2 was made out of. I'm wondering if it did take, take some of this material off. I oh, yeah. You, when you clean it, you'll see the... No. Nah. Man, it's hard. It's so hard. I, know, I did um, an AMD card. and It's it, so hard to clean. Yeah, it is. They make special Q-tips for it that absorb it. I should have brought them, but... You have them? <coughs> yeah. Oh, you mean the flat little, flat, <coughs> like, little ones? Well, it's like a black Q-tip, but it just soaks this stuff up right into it. Anything else won't. I don't know what it's made of. But. Oh, it did eat it. Oh. Yeah. Man, that stuff is not good. This stuff takes a lot of skill to, Look at that. to uh, lay even, too, when you're putting it on. Yeah, it's like it's just coming out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. I had to use Q-tip after Q-tip, I guess. Wonder if I could use Kleenex. See, it just wants to move around. It did eat it. I'm surprised. Yeah, as if you were to put that on a copper heat sink with a copper pad on it, it would it would eat it way worse. 
<laughs> Definitely no 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 on that. Have Remember? you seen some videos? Yeah. There's a couple videos on liquid metal and. Dude, it tore it up, man. Yeah. Yeah, it etches it. Yeah. That's exactly what it did to the GPU. Etched it. The yeah. die. Yeah. Uh, it's not good. Nope. I told you about it too. Thanks, Dimitri. Hey, hey, yeah. <laughs> Give him a shout out. It's a good idea, they said. <laughs> Your graphics card will run so much cooler, they said. It did probably. It but, did, but yeah. you know, I had it for like six months, and if that's if the etching, if the etching that that did in six keep months, keep going you know, more etching, in a year. Yeah, and, yeah, your yeah. time, and and uh, if you don't keep maintenance on it. And, you know, liquid metal, you don't ever have to replace. It's not like thermal paste where it dries out. It, I it mean, it started stays, eating into the metal. Which is the good thing about liquid metal, but there's pluses and negatives, pros and cons. Yeah, I wish I was really chemical. Uh, I knew about chemicals. I wonder yeah. why it would eat it like that. Yeah. I wonder why. Why would it eat it I like that? I heard, too, if you leave, like, any residue from the old paste, that there's a reaction between thermal paste and liquid metal... So like if you leave anything Chemical like on this, yeah. So it's really important if you're switching between the two. Well, I know like if you have thermal paste, it'll usually eat through. Like you know, you'll see it on the heat sink sometimes. You know, just even like the thermal paste a little bit, you'll see it. You know, you took Xboxes apart back yeah. in the day, 360s, and I would think that's just for the. I see so hot. no, but I see them too on the PlayStation 4s, the die packets, and the mm -hmm. Xbox One S's. It'll wear it out just like this in a sense, but not this bad. It went in and it's kind of like etching it inside there. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, the microscope does a great job of showing it. Yeah. If it can... That's all corrosion, really. Yeah. I mean, that's the flattest I got it, so... But you can see that's a nice picture right there, what it did. Yeah. You can see it's a, it was a mirror before. Oh, yeah. Yep. All right, so we got that clean. So, basically, we just need to clean this up right here. And then we'll get to the fans. That's what we're after. Look at that stuff. That's nice. I, you know, if it were me, I would have just threw alcohol right on the thing and spread no, it No, you spread it everywhere and then you're never going to get it. It's just going to keep spreading and spreading and spreading. Once it's soaked with the oil, sometimes you know you're not gonna get it pretty pretty, but you can get it pretty good. Alright. That's the best that's gonna get right there. Let me get this little corner here. Yeah, there's some people that put their stuff in liquid, right? Computer, you ever seen that? Oh, in mineral oil? <laughs> yeah. Uh, now we can look over here. We can see. So you get this dirt grime build up here. Mm -hmm. And that's what starts causing you issues. When you get into stuff like this. Eesh. And that's from the old, that's from the OEM pads that were on there, too. Which is disappointing. I mean, you can see it's starting to look like crap. Oh, yeah, I mean, look at the big chunks.
So we might as well address that. <clears throat> what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a dry rub on it. Get all that crap, dust, dirt, grime. Looks better already. There's a nice little test pad right there. See the rubbing alcohol just spread it sometimes. Alright, looks good enough for the girls I go with, good enough for me. It's good to me. One of my little sayings, I guess. Alright. You like the thermal pads, huh? Yeah, I do like those thermal pads, man. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna have to get some of those. I'll send you a link where I got them. But you can post it in the comments, too. I mean, even, post yeah. Post it in the description. Yeah, I will. Uh, yeah, give somebody else clout. Right? No, but honestly, I'm, I'm gonna do that because the, the back of the, the graphics card t does get some heat, especially like on mine. Mine dissipates the heat upwards like this, so. On yeah, mine. which is good. On all normal computers, normally. And in that scenario, it was the other yeah. way. It was vertical, so. You know. Yeah. All right, so now we just need to do the fan. The fans. The fans. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna take off the fans here. Should be three screws. Nope. There's some more. There's a couple in here. I was wondering. I was like, I knew there, I knew there was some more. All right. So we got that off. Now we got each fan. So, we're gonna take this one off first here. And see, what I did, I did my fans because my fans wanted, the card I got off you, the whole reason why I took it apart is because of the fans. Mm -hmm. Just, the problem? it was kind of, it was making noise. Oh yeah. You know, and so. I, I you know I've had three of these same exact cards make noise, and they all started making noise around the same time. So that leads me to believe that these, the card is great, but these fans definitely have a limited lifespan to them. No, it's just they didn't, they didn't pack them with no grease. They packed them with some garbage grease. Yeah. You know, we use the Mercedes grease here. Oh yeah. This is the Mercedes grease. I don't know if you can read that German, but... I yeah. love the Germans. It's Mercedes grease. I use this for... This was for uh, doing my wheel bearings on my car. So it's pretty good grease. That's what I use. Now they're quiet as a whistle. They run beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like they do for sure. 
So we unplug that fan. Take that apart. Wait a second. They all come apart? Yeah. Oh. I didn't yeah. know that. Except the first one. The first one has a... Uh, it's wired in that one. Oh. So you can't do nothing with it. But you can take the other two apart. So we're going to switch to the side cam here. Oh, that's nice. I can replace a fan. I didn't know that. So we got the fan here. Alright, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to carefully pop this fan out of its socket. And this is very hard. Mm -hmm. The blades get brittle. Without breaking the, the yeah. blades. Yeah, because if we take this sticker off here... You can see down in it. Ooh. But you're not gonna see into the shaft or anything. So this is what the under Larry looks. There's your little chip there. So we gotta pop this out of its socket carefully. Like that. Without damaging it. Then we gotta take this out of its wire harness here. work this wire out and then we got this piece sitting off the side so there's going to be our bearing shaft there so if you look at our bearing shaft there you see it's all crudded nasty mm -hmm. grease so that's basically the shaft that it rides on and what obviously, like most of the time, uh, what'll happen is these fans from sitting downwards, you can see, like, we gotta pop this off right here, this washer right here. So you gotta pop that washer off without damaging it. Cause that's how the fan sits down. So on a typical, when you have that fan upside down on your, on your card, it's grinding against this card, so it has nothing to lift on. That's why it'd be best, these fans were designed to operate this way. So the opposite way of most computers. Gotcha. Now why would you do that? I don't know. Because it would ride in the bear, bearing shaft. So we have this always right here, riding on this washer downwards. So it's putting pressure it's coming downwards. You, you understand what I'm talking mm -hmm. about? Yeah, absolutely. So that's what happens. And as you can see, like the, the glue mark here, you're, we're gonna have to use super glue and we're gonna have to glue those into place. So we have an even shaft back and forth here. Yeah. Can't be too much that way. It's gonna cause noise. Mm -hmm. That's where you get all your noise from. You're rubbing. So we're gonna have to remove that carefully, which is a pain in the butt. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop this out of its socket carefully. Nope, that didn't work, dang it. No, it didn't work, dang it. Kyle, it's supposed to pop out of its socket. Oh, no. That's what not to do. Yeah, that is not what to do. <laughs> Luckily, I one. have an extra fan. Yeah, I know you do. <clears throat> no, they popped out the other ones, but... Yeah. Right. Was this the one that making the most noise? Yeah. Yeah, that's why. And yeah, the other two are fine. That one was. That's what it was. It was already broken. That would explain. Because yeah, the other, one, the other ones pop. I would go and push the fan. Push the fan, and that's why. 
Yeah, you so cracked I, it. Yeah, That's what I, it was. It's probably my fault. Yeah, it is, dude. No, most definitely. Well, I we might as well just take it apart and... Yeah, because of what you did... See these pins down here? These pins usually are held down. Mm-hmm. And then you by putting pressure on it back and yeah, forth yeah. with that. Right. That's that's what it was. That's what I was doing. Yeah. Did you do it with the other ones? No, this was the only one I had an issue with. All right. <clears throat> well, you can see how it's all black there too. Yeah. Dang. Technically, we could repair this if we really wanted to. Let's see. You have your one strand that came right here. <clears throat> right on the side of the board? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you could probably repair you could repair that for sure. We got our one there. See, so it's broken from so the side. So you frame. got little four little holes right there then that the that piece sits into with the pins. Where are this? No, on the outside. Next to each coil there's a little hole on the outside of each coil. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Alright. So really Oh yeah, so you could just pop it back in the hole and re-solder those two wires. No, you wouldn't necessarily solder them. They were... You would have to solder, but they were probably pushed in. Gotcha. Pushed in pins. So if we're over here. They were in the pinhole? Yeah. Oh. That's why it was, it was already loose, you know? See, yeah. there's this one. Yeah. Now, that's all you need is these two. Kyle, so we can repair this. See how that was sitting hey, in there? Try, let's do it. Might as well, you know, and then we can have extra contact. That one, yeah, see, what it was, happens if you see, do it was, it was, <laughs> it was broken, huh? Extra yeah. contact, yeah. Extra contact, what happens if it doesn't go the way it should? Now we can... Oh, that's going to go. I've already repaired. I just recently repaired a fan like this. Yeah? Yeah. <clears throat> It was on something like, uh, I don't know, con con computer for like an excavator or something. It was weird. But yeah, if we get this one back in here, right there where it's at. Mm -hmm. And then that just drops in its pins right here. Oh, yeah. Yep. Let's see, it was coiled on that one and coiled on this one. It was wrapped around it, eh? Yeah. Gotcha. But them just being stuck in there. Oh. Little pipe. But you can see that pin's bent like that. You could almost use it like a little dab of um, liquid solder, maybe? No. No? <laughs> liquid solder? No. What's liquid? Where's, what's liquid solder? I want to know. Like if you're doing um, like a stencil? And you like you do like the screen printing stencil oh, and yeah. solder oh, yeah. deal, like yeah. that stuff. You've, oh, you're talking about heat. Yeah, but you'd have to heat it up. Oh, you still would have to heat it up. <clears throat> yeah. Right. You're talking about solder paste. Solder paste. Yeah, yeah. that's what I meant. Yeah. <clears throat> well, that technically, because you have the three pads there. And that's what'll confuse you is because you would think just that and that negative positive, so you'd have to figure out which rotation that would go. Yeah. yeah, from the other one. Yep. But you're really not gonna see that one, so So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this out right here. Hema stats for this. And you can't damage this right here. Maybe you can get grab a hold of it. Mm -hmm. It's like a thin, thinner plastic. 
Yeah, but you can't damage it. Yeah, oh yeah. See? Nice. So we got it, we don't we don't lose it. I don't yeah. know, you can't see that on microscope, but and you definitely do not want to lose this. So normally when you're pulling up on the fan it would just bring that washer up. It would bring it up, yeah, yeah. But you must apply pressure to the fan. Yeah. You had to. Oh I did, yeah. I, because it was cracked. That it was, fan was it's noisy bent for here. A no, it's bent here. See these pins? See this pin? See I used this to get all angry when it was noisy and just be like, <laughs> Stop being noisy, fan. No, wait, you see the pins? They're all yeah, bent. Yeah, yeah. So that's why it just came out of its socket because you broke the glue. Mm hmm. Where did that okay. sat in? So now we just pull this piece out here. I forgot, can you access that washer before you just pull it up? Yeah, you can. Alright. But I just pulled mine, all three of mine out. I would like say that. for future reference, maybe take the washer out first. Not for yeah, future, I would. Just I would. Doing it. Take the washer out first. Yeah, I would. Avoid this problem right here. See? And so this should be, after this, we'll cut this, this fan video and make it its own video. Yeah. Separate, so people can get a shorter, shorter video. So you can see, like, here, there's no grease here, right? Yeah. There's nothing there, right? It's dry bone, right? Yeah. There's no grease on the shaft, right? Nope. No, it looks, seems like it all just gets pushed forward away from where it should be. Yeah, but it was in that bearing, but it was yeah. just very little grease. Yeah, no, very little. It was all at the top. It doesn't even look like there was ever grease there on the back side. Yeah, so... See, we take a look. That one's going in that, that socket right there. <clears throat> So that wire goes in that socket, that wire goes in that socket. So we'll be able to repair this fan. Cool, let's do it. I'll, I'll throw it in there and we'll test, I'll test it out and everything. I have an extra worst case scenario, so. It'll work. No big deal. It'll work, it'll work. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm thinking with the other ones I'll do that unit because you didn't apply any pressure with those ones. Yeah, who knows? I think you got the best one. I did. It wasn't touched by liquid know, metal, I man. Touch it. Oh my god, why would you want to do that liquid metal? It was experimental. When you're mining, you want to keep temperatures cool because you've got a mining rig going. It's hot. Very, very hot. The more, the more you can cool your graphics card down while you're mining, the more you can earn. Right. I mean, the more money you can make. So... We're gonna have to look and for see. For gaming, what... I wouldn't recommend it whatsoever. I, I wouldn't recommend it for. See, there was a glue right there. Yeah. And that's so the glue is so old and hard, and it could have caused it to break because it was so much heat on that thing too. Yeah, these cards got hot, very <clears> hot. <throat> so you gotta be extra careful with them. So I just buy pull that little tab up first. It works the best. We're gonna disconnect this fan. Yeah, I pulled all three of my fans like that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what I normally do with the Xbox or the some of the PlayStation 4s. Some of them are like removable. You could remove the, the fan right out of its socket, which yeah, is so nice. The card I sold to you was the card that was at the end of the mining rig. Just never got to it. Well, the other two 1070s were sandwiched in between other cards. <laughs> so the ones that were in the middle of the rig got the worst damage. It's just the most heat. One you had was at the end, which is why I didn't do the. How many graphics metal. cards did you have in there? It was that eight card rig? Oh wow. Eight graphics cards. How much you think electricity a monthly, right? My bill a month at fourteen cents a kilowatt hour was about two hundred a month. Just on the rig or just all together? Just, just to power it. Just wow. to power the rig. Just to power the rig alone. Two hundred dollars. Two hundred just for the mining rig. All right. And given the price of whatever I was mining, it was dependent on how much my profit was. But so 14 here, cents a kilowatt hour. Here we go. We're going to have to pull this. Stop breaking the fans. We're going to do it on the last one. You took the washer out? Huh? No, oh, you got to pull it out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This one's in there. Ah, oh, man. That's the most crucial one. Because my middle one on the other card is broken. Yeah. 
Oh man. Just doesn't want to come. Oh, there we go. Finally. She came free. Huh? She came free. Oh. Heart just stopped. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. See, this is how it's supposed to come apart, Kyle. Yeah, yeah. See this? Gotcha. See where where I'm at? This <laughs> yeah. is how it comes apart. Well, that fan was grinding, making noise. That was the bad fan, and it was grinding because the because it was broken. Because it was not really the grease so much. Probably it wasn't. It was, it was broken. broken. It was putting yeah. pressure on one side of the fan. Yeah. yeah. So this is how I took mine apart. This is how mine exactly came apart, 100%. This is how I remember it, because I didn't remember it coming apart like that. Yeah, oh, yeah. No, I didn't. You would have known. I would have known, that's why I was like, why am I removing the gasket like that? The gasket is in here. So, now I have to take this out, so I have to take this bottom layer out of here, carefully. Yeah. You see what I'm talking about? So this bottom part here needs to come out of this socket. Like we have the other one. And the washer, that washer is supposed to be in there and then we're going to have to super glue that washer back into place evenly. So it has an even spin. Mm -hmm. So that's how it comes apart. The last one didn't come apart like this. And that's the reason why. So... We're gonna take the wiring out. See, it's glued in there, so. There we go. So we got it out of its socket. So it's glued in there. This is how it comes apart. Usually the washer is stuck down here, on here. But you can see this glue that they used. It's not even glue, and some of it's grease. So now you take this out. See how this is just sitting in here? Yep. That's your problem right there. So this just sitting in there like that, see it wasn't glued to that base. Mm -hmm. So this washer needs to be glued to this base here. It can't move. Yep. That's your problem. So what happens is this was free, it's, it's grinding on the side. Yep. That's what happened to your first fan. The one that was broken. So we're going to take that washer, we're going to set that to the side. Not lose it. So what we're going to have to do is clean all that up. Look at that glue. Crud. See, we're getting all that nasty old oh. grease out of there. All right, so we got that cleaned. We're gonna grab our plastic insert here. We're gonna clean that. Some extra because we're putting super glue on this. Alright, so we got that, we can set that to the side. Now we're going to grab our super glue. 
Hopefully my super glue is still good. Crazy glue. Crazy. Crazy, crazy glue. It's the Kregel. <laughs> hey, but it, I mean, it seems like it, I got some tape over it and everything, but it, like that's going to do anything. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put some super glue just around the round ring there. And then we're going to have to place that with our tweezers exactly fast and no joke type. So we got this broken free. It's going to be hard. We're going to have to put just the right amount. There we go. There we go. Right around the ring. We're going to take our washer here and place it down we're going to get it centered it's already starting to heat there we go push down on it a little bit in the corners So I'm not responsible for breaking your first fan, dude. No, no, I don't blame yeah, you. No. I don't blame you at all, man. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely don't blame me at all. That, was, that had nothing to do with me, man. No. Because I've had no problem taking these apart, and they come apart like this the same way. Always. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Alright, so that's done. We're going to let that dry on the rapid cool technology. There you go. Then we're going to clean this <laughs> bearing out here. Not bearing, which I just want to call it a shaft. It was the last one, last fan I was working on. It had bearings. Be nice if these had bearings. Alright. Alright, so we're good there. Now we're about to cake this baby with some grease. So I just broke off a Q-tip there. Grab ourselves some Mercedes wheel bearing grease. And we're just gonna cake it in there. There we go. That's good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to want to cake this top part right here. Because the shaft usually rides on this, this part. So we're going to lightly cake this in here. So we got enough grease on there. We're gonna also want to do that in the inside fan. Let's clean that real quick. See that one had a little bit of pressure on it. Is that the? Let's see. Let's clean that up. Clean the shaft. It's a good idea too, like to clean this uh, magnetic strip right here. See the dirt that I'm picking up from it. See how dirty that is. Just helps the fan glide and uh, like spin backwards when the fin stat stops.
Alright. Now we're going to add some grease to the center and the shaft. We're going to get down here in this ring lightly. I mean, because believe it or not, this stuff rides on the ring and that, that washer. Good. So we got this greased. We could put this back. Now, what I did with this, I kind of put the wiring inside there a little bit. I'm going to set this down. That spot. Right there. Like that. Get our wiring in there. Then we're going to take this. We're going to make sure it's seated down. There, see it? Just seated down all the way. Don't put too much pressure on it. So you don't want to do. Yeah. What you did. I'm going to break it. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to put some drops of super glue around the sides just to hold it in its place. You don't want to put too much super glue because it'll, it'll cause a rubbing issue. Like too much of a layer. So we let that sit back on rapid cool technology, set that fan to the side, then we move on to the other one. See this one just came out with socket like that, no problem. So that was a broken fan right here, you guys. So I didn't even have to pull on this one at all and it just came disassembled. So what this was doing, it was just basically going like this. And that's why you have your issues with the fans most of the time. Most of the time with these fans, why you have the issue with this graphics card is because it came detached from this part right here. So it's riding uneven. And then other times, it's because that's not glued down and that's just sitting loose. So this loses its adhesive, which you can't even say that it's sitting in there. I mean, it's just it's flopping around. Floating huh? It's just floating. You see, I just yeah. barely like took it apart and yeah. it just came apart. Yeah. So that's how it normally comes apart. It's just like that when you have the issue with these fans. Not like the first one we did. That one just barely wanted to come out and then, you know, it snapped out of its place. Yeah. <clears throat> so this one's all intact. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to disconnect the wiring here. I had to do this on mine. Because <clears throat> I, both, two of my fans were like this. Which was crazy. Two of them. <clears throat> so we got that out. Now we're going to take our little washer here. We can get this guy up. Just get him upright and grab him with the hemostats. Alright, we got him 
with the hemostats. Figure out where my pick is. And come back over here. And I would imagine people, if they try to do this themselves, they would lose this little plastic insert, which would kind of suck. Come on, don't break on me. Oh, come on, why are you being a... Oof, I don't want to be stubborn. Just take your time, be careful. tweezers here but that's not gonna help there we go so you can see think you damaged it you didn't you just gotta have to float it back into shape so we're just gonna get it flat here Go. We got to fix, fix the little clamper thing in majiggy, whatever you want to call them. So you got that. Now we can disassemble this. This is how it's supposed to come apart. You see, so this is what they did. So they must have put like just one piece of a adhesive. I think that's their downfall on these graphics cards. So you can see that right there that would have been the adhesive to adhesive the board back to its mm -hmm. spot gotcha oh i can't see that on camera sorry you guys but right here see that yep so that's basically the glue why didn't they not put glue spot here glue spot here you know when placing it down doesn't make no sense right yeah especially a high-end graphics card that's yeah, a de that's a defect right there uh like a flaw now i wonder how many problems how many people Customers, if you guys have issues with the fans here, probably label this one as a fan upgrade, obviously, or repairing the fans, noisy fans or yeah. defective fans in mm -hmm. these cards because this has to be a defect right here. Yeah, and if I had three of the same exact graphics cards, they all and they all had the same issue. The yeah. one I got from you had it, yep. and I, had it I know, I known it was an issue when yeah. I bought the card. And but, within a couple of weeks of each other, they all started having a fan issues. So that leads me to believe it's definitely just something that was overlooked. And and how long? Spring. How long did you have these cards for? You mm, think? Say a year and a half. Two year years, and a half. Two, two years. years. But they probably only ran about a year. Yeah. <clears throat> then we got a little dust there, but yeah, you can see so how this is, and you can see if the solder connections are broken. See, so this is actually a solder. And you want to look for connections, make sure there's not anything broken if your fan is not working. So if you pushed on your fan and it's not working, and sometimes you got to press, press on it to have it start spinning, it's the solder joints between here and here. So we'd have to technically look at and see which one has the coils sent to them. So this one would probably have the coil, but... Yeah, that other fan I don't feel like fixing. You said you got an extra one, so I'll just refurnish that fan for you. Yep. You know, and not even mess with the other one yeah. and keep it for spare parts. Yeah. Especially just even that, having that little plastic thing and this controller board. Oh. Yeah. Well, that's you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I know you can get the fans from China, but, I mean, fans going to go up in more price now because, you know, we can't get when parts. I, I couldn't find the fans for this card. Really? Yeah. I found them one spot That's I think right. it was Ali Express right when I looked they were gone they were gone yeah all right so that would explain it because they have an issue with this mm -hmm. but I mean just to have the parts the controller controller chip everything like that you know be nice to have for extra parts I did a crappy soldering job in here All right, so we need to clean that up, do the same process with this one. <clears throat> and then we can snap the fans in.
that's the old grease so what I believe too to stop that from happening with the stuff they never had this 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 little white ring super glued to this yeah it allowed it to just float around float around now why so then it's uneven it's you know the fan can go like this a little bit mm. at the at the at the bottom part of it you know yeah it's sitting in the shaft and it's supposed to be freely but you had a lot of rubbing noise right issues yeah yeah and that's what I had I had a little rubbing issue every time it would want to start the fan it would it make noise mm -hmm. I couldn't figure out what it is so two of my fans were just sitting in the air like that All right, got that clean. Get the side. The thing. extra fan that's broken is the one that's making the noise on the card I have now. The end fan. It's the same one right at the end. Mhm. Mm and you know what? My end fan was making the same noise too. That yeah, was the end one. Huh? It was the end one. Yeah, something going on there with the end one then. Because, I mean, you can hear my car now. They don't make a peep now. You can't even hear them run. I'm at full blast at, like, 90% when I'm, or 80% mm -hmm. when I'm gaming. And they're just blazing. Especially with this grease job. <laughs> All right, so let's grab our little white insert here. Let's clean that up so we can get it ready for super glue. Yeah, and see, I, or crazy glue. I would, you want to use crazy glue, and especially like mounting this bottom part. You don't want to use hot glue, just because of the heat. Oh, yeah. You know, it's just gonna break off. So you're gonna have to use a high adhesive glue. What's the other glue that they have? Uh, that one ain't really too hard. You want a hard glue. It's a go to or something glue. You remember? Uh -oh. I had a bottle of it. I threw it away. They got old, but they use it for the LED strips or replacements. Oh, okay. <clears throat> All right. So if we sit here and what do you think? That, oh, right. What's that? That's the other fan right there. Crazy glue time. All right, that's good. Take our insert, place it down there fast. So it's dead even. If we look on the other side, you can see you can just go over a little bit that way. Dead even. Okay. All right, so we'll set that in the rapid cool technology. So we're going to take the base, clean that out. Yeah, I hope this video helps a lot of people because 
Obviously, if I had the issue, you had the issue on your card, and yeah, if you can't find replacement fans either, I mean, this is something. <laughs> I you mean, gotta, you kept Google and really, Googling. Yeah, you I asked looked, around too. I looked groups. everywhere. What about groups and stuff? Did you ask? Yeah, I couldn't find it in the marketplace. They're there. They're just they were sold out when I looked, so they exist. It's just trying but where to where was it when you when you saw it available? Some. Uh, I think it was Alibaba. Yeah, that was Alibaba. That's what it was, AliExpress. Uh, Ali yeah. When I looked for it. Yeah. Because I was going to buy the fans. And then I was like, oh, why don't I just take these apart right. and just try to figure it out? Yeah. And then I came out with this little technique that I used that we're doing with your fans. Minus the first one. I mean, you would think after this, you you have a brand new fan. Oh, you do. Pretty much. You do. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so, the magnetics are still good and everything. Yeah. There's nothing else that's going to go bad on that that circuit board or with the wiring or anything so so we got that down now we can take this we're gonna put it in our little part here first we're gonna place this down get it locked in there there we go you can see the grease just popping out of there nice and beautiful mm -hmm. So now we're going to super glue the edges here. Make sure you don't get too much super glue on the edges because it will cause some friction putting these back together. Which will wear out in time, but it'll be annoying at first. So I think I had to take one of my cards down, just pile down the glue pot, or you know, just yeah. a little, just a little bit. Yeah. Because you get too much glue on here. But you want to get enough. Obviously, you don't want your fans popping back out like they did before. Right. <laughs> Take a minute to dry. So here we got we got one dried here. It's partially dried. It's gonna take a lot more to dry, obviously. But it's good enough. We got our shaft already greased up. So all we're going to do is we're just going to plop it on there, put it in here, lay it down flat, bam, there we go, we got our new fan, she glides beautiful, look at how she kicks back too. Mm -hmm. Very nice. She's quiet as a whistle. And then upside down. That's where it, most of the fans run at. Oh. There good. goes our fan mod, right? That's it, that's the fan mod. <laughs> no, it ain't the fan mod. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to call it mod in this modding. I want to well, call uh, refurnishing a fan because... It's half Asus, half Mercedes now, so... <laughs> <laughs> Upgrade. Yeah, that's a big upgrade. We didn't use Ford grease. I mean, we used Mercedes grease. I mean, you hear how, like, I mean, that thing is, like, it glides so beautiful. Like, there's not a peep out of it. Uh, Look at that. Very smooth. Very smooth. Very, very smooth. See the kickback and everything. Yeah, the, the fans spinning a lot easier are going to take load off. Of the, the car power to try to you think? try to get them to the speed they need yeah, to be. That's true. Probably yeah, mine kick up. Mine kick up know. really fast. Dude. Like, yeah, I can see. And they sound like rocket launchers. Yeah. You know, when I have them kicking on I the speed. See saving some energy. A little bit, but sure. But it does. It, I mean, yeah. this thing is. This thing is. Yeah, absolutely. So that's how you refurnish the fan right there. Uh, I don't know. They obviously have an issue with their fans. I mean, it has to be a defect. 
just right there because they didn't. Oh, the end no, is. no, because they didn't. They didn't su super glue it, adhesive the the board itself to the back plastic piece, and also that little center piece. You see it. I just put a couple little bit of glue around there to hold it in center. Mm -hmm. So that center, and then you have that center. That thing's just whapping around in there. Yeah. It's gonna cause, and then yeah. you have high speeds yeah. with the fans, and you, people are kicking it up for yeah. gaming. It's gonna cause a vibration. Yeah. Any and vibration. then what it's gonna do is gonna dissipate yep. from the or uh, detach from the glue mm -hmm. on the actual bottom housing here yep. that we have. So it's actually gonna. They have one little spot, the glue, to hold it. Yeah. I mean, come on. <clears throat> I agree. Get with it, man. Like, they had a, a glue right here, just one little spot. I mean, at least do so, both sides. So if you have a failure point on yeah, one side, you still got the they other did, side. They did one side. One side goes bad, and the whole so thing goes So the bad. manufacturing company, they should have put glue all around here when they lay that, that, that board down. When they yeah. put this piece in here with the board. So when you have the, the board in here... They should have put glue all around the sh center shaft. Mm -hmm. And you can probably put, you know, glue around the sh uh, center shaft there, but I don't right here yeah. to glue it. I just do the four corners there. Yeah. And if it does rub a little bit, it's going to rub for a little bit. But well, when you, if you had to repair the fan again, you your super glue is on top, so you can just break it off. Yes. You should be able to remove it. Exactly. If you were to glue the bottom, you deal with what happened in the yeah, first phase. Take, yeah. And then that you would be, held, and then you'd be breaking the it. Part. And then on top of it, remember how I pried this one out mm -hmm. and it broke. I mean, it wasn't really right. prying too much, but it was prying. But, oh, yeah. Yep. You know, that, that's the cause of it. I mean, it's not that hard. They could just, they could have super glued this center ring to be center at all times yeah. and not move from its location. Mm -hmm. Now, from that lumen going back and forth, the fans, and then back and forth this way, it's wearing you're going to have issues. I mean, it's not worn out. The shafts are beautiful. You can see as we spent the, the old one. Yeah. But let's clean this up real quick here just one time. We'll add a little bit of grease. And then we'll clean the magnet. Yeah, doing this, if you were, if you had to do this job, it would be a good time to throw that in some soapy water. Throw the fans in some soapy water. No, 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 no. No? No, no. You don't want to use water. You want to use distilled water and, yeah. or rubbing alcohol. You just want to use rubbing alcohol. Yeah, just you're clean good it all with, out. Yeah, just, you're good with rubbing alcohol. Okay. Don't use nothing else. I mean, if you're talking about it's really nasty. Yeah, I took this card apart already so, and I cleaned it. Mm -hmm. So normally, if you were gonna do this job and you never cleaned your card, before, oh, it's gonna be nasty, especially if you're, you're gonna have, especially if you're a smoker or something. Yeah, like that you're gonna too. have a lot of gunk on those fans, so it'd be a better opportunity <clears throat> to clean both sides, get all the grease, toothbrush to it, or something with alcohol. Yeah, and then if yeah. you have like, we have a lot of dust in your area too, like you live close to a, a busy intersection. I'm Dude, seeing these little ridges on this fan. See this string? Oh, it's floating in there. Yep. No, it was the the glue. That's weird. I'm curious about these little notches in the fan on the screen here, on the insides. What is that for? Well, that's where my blades broke on my other fan. What? Really? How the blades break? Oh. There's a little notch there. No, that's dust. Where? Yeah, oh, that little notch. Yeah, yeah, on yeah. One? Yeah. Why not make them solid? It looks like a weak point. That is true. You know. <clears throat> that is true. No, nah, it's just poor, poor design right here. They should have just glued. They should have glued that all around four corners. Yeah. Or, you know, the center, just the center piece itself. You know. Yeah, a little too much grease. Yeah, I'm here. sure the grease they use is, you know, crap cheap too. Grease yeah. And... I mean, but people are spending almost a couple thousand dollars on these cards, right? Yeah, I spent well, like $900 on this card back in the winter of 2017. And how much are... Like during the mining rate, mining craze. Yeah, and people find can't graphics find a graphics card. card. Yeah. You went out of town for it. Yeah, Chicago, I to, right? I to go to a whole other state. <laughs> Multiple times. Chicago, right? Yeah, Chicago. Yeah. Got the last one they had. Wow. Yep. 
Yeah, but I mean, some people were forking out fifteen hundred dollars for oh, these yeah, cars, right? Ten eighty Ti's are about fifteen hundred bucks. That's ridiculous. Which was well, three hundred dollars more, four hundred dollars more than what it's it basically was when it was released. It's basically, the gold rush, right? Yeah, yeah. The yeah. gold the rush mining, of mining, mining, mining rush. Well, I mean, gold rush. Yeah. You want to say? You yeah, know, Bitcoin making rush, money, guess, making yeah. money off computers. Yeah. Now, who would have thought? Yeah. You know, their grandfathers and stuff back in the day were mining through tunnels and ground mm -hmm. for gold. And people are mining nowadays with mining rigs yep. using graphics cards for processing transactions. Yep. Pretty crazy. So we're going to pop this in place. Get her leveled up. Alright. And pop her down evenly. Bam. There we go. Beauty, right? Beautiful. I mean, she's caked with some grease, so she's going to slow down a little bit until she gets worked down, but... Oh, yeah. That looks good. It was better than it was. Look at that thing, man. It just glides. You can't even hear no noise. No, not at all. With these things. Nothing. No. I got it on the front microphone camera, as you guys can see, but... Yeah, so... Turn this off. Alright, so we got the disaster here. Basically, we're just going to go over this a little bit. Uh, we were furnished the fan. One, we're not going to say because he's got a, other fans. I'm not even going to bother, but we could repair this one, honestly. Uh, that one was broken from the actual board itself. Usually, they pop out in the socket after the second or the third fan that we oh, just did. How hard do you think that is to repair? That? Yeah. Ugh, it's... Not your average person could repair this. All right. All right. So, on on a repair level, this would be a nine out of a ten. Gotcha. All right, because you're trying to get those two little solder wires yeah. connected. That's all you need for the fan spin, you know. But this kind of concerns me about this burning mark here too. So, mm -hmm. I really don't trust this one. To tell you the truth. Gotcha. And then on, on top of it, it just broke so easy. It was it was been damaged. So these other two haven't. Like the card I got off you wasn't damaged, but yeah. So these cards normally sit like this in a computer, which it ain't meant for that. It's meant for this way, this direction. That's what it's meant for. That's how it was designed. Mm -hmm. But why would they? In a lot of PCs, they have it upside down. Yeah, you gotta pull cold air from the bottom. Yeah. Otherwise, you'd be pulling. So you know what? You know what? You know what's putting all that that weight on there, right? That little plastic washer that we did right here. Right. So this basically this washer right here that's taking all the weight of the card, and then not that not being centered and not being, you know, level. Mm -hmm. That fan is just wiggling around there, and that's what's causing an issue. Then it causes vibrations in the fan. Yep. So what they did is they used a hard epoxy glue. It's hard as a rock. Yep. All right. It's not like it's soft vibration glue. All right. They should have used a soft vibration glue here between the the motherboard. This right here. Yeah. Holding this on, they should have used a soft type hard glue that extends a lot of heat. And there are glues out there like that. Yeah. Kind of like a rubbery basis, you know, so right. therefore right. for right. shock. Because so brittle. Because it's a lot of vibrations. Especially yep. you're going to get a lot of vibrations when this washer is moving back and forth. Mm -hmm. And it can't center out the, the, the top of the shaft right. of the fan. So that's the issue right there. So uh, feel free if you guys want to leave any comments below or anything, what you think this issue is. If you guys had this issue with the fans, I'm not going to bore you guys with putting the graphics card back together and stuff like that uh, let me know what's your thoughts on this if you have came across this issue or you know anybody that's came across this issue or if you tried refurnishing these fans at all or if you have a hard time trying to get these fans cause like you said you yeah. can't get them either right yeah. so but 
Hope you guys liked the video. Yeah, guys... like, like, share, and subscribe. subscribe. Yeah, and if sure you yeah, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. And as always, yep. thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. You guys have a good one.